I recently uh, purchased one of these uh, Chinese chippers, wood chippers, and this works really, really well. It's a the 15 horsepower model, and uh, it's the Big Boys Toys 9000 here in Australia. But I think there's a lot of different makes, but it's the uh, it's quite uh, built very well, and it um, it's pretty heavy duty. The only problem with this was that after using it for a while you get uh, you get a headache basically because the original model if you see here that's the exhaust pipe the exhaust pipe bounces off this big chute and it creates this uh, polluted air right where you're working because you're actually always putting your head working with the machine putting things in here it, you're just breathing all that fume and I was getting a headache and I didn't know what it was and then I realized that the exhaust pipe is is it's really on the wrong spot they should have added out on the side maybe this idea would have been better but not not aiming right at that so what I've done is actually I've got a 32 millimeter it's galvanized and I brought ground it and 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 cut it and weld it I I'm gonna shift this steel back a bit the shoot. I'm going to tilt the shoot back a bit so you can see it. So basically that's what I've done. I have did a 90 degree on this 32 millimeter pipe, diameter pipe, and uh, I put a couple of brackets on the frame and now I've got the exhaust pipe going at the side. I probably extended it a little bit too much. I might have to, I made it cut it level with the wheel, but I'll leave it there for now. So the exhaust pipe is coming out the same size, the side as the chute. So you're not going to work on this side anyway, and uh, and um, it's going to stop a lot of that fume recirculation, which is no good for you. So you've got to do this. It's a stupid design as far as that goes. Another thing I've done to tow this around because it's actually 175 kilograms or whatever is I've uh, removed the original I've removed the original little handheld the little pipe and I put a something that you can actually it's actually a pipe with uh, with a bend and uh, and so you can tow it behind the truck you can tow it behind the track a little tractor that I've got here and it's stopping these legs from digging into the, into the ground. So you've got to put a bend on it to lift, lift those legs off the ground. Because it, it, on an on a unlevel block like mine is, it's really, really hard to shift around otherwise. So you need to get yourself a 32 millimeter pipe. And I did that tow little bar, tow bar. And also did the exhaust pipe. Now, when, uh, when I started, I, I haven't got the battery in here. It's electric start, but I'll just put the battery in the tractor. So I'll put the choke on. When you start it now, So basically now all the fumes go out the side and you've got a clean environment where you're going to work on. So you must do it, otherwise you're going to get a headache and you actually get go lethargic because you're getting this pollution inside your body, which is no good. And I imagine a lot of Chinese machines similar to this are the same. So put the exhaust pipe going onto the side and you won't have any problems. Yep, thank you very much and thanks for watching and uh, great machine, highly recommended. Okay, bye-bye.